We're mobile. Take Fox Sports 1350 with you using iHeartRadio. KTDD, Riverside, San Bernardino. Fox Sports Radio, 1350 AM. What's up? This is Nick Young of the LA Lakers. You rock me at IE Sportsnet. The Inland Empire Sports Authority. Yes, we are live in the great city of Riverside. It is IE Sportsnet. I, you know, I couldn't hear myself for a quick second there, Coach B, and I know you enjoyed that. I, I got really excited. I know you enjoyed that right there. <laughs> Live from the great city of Riverside at the iHeartRadio studios, this is Sportsnet connected by Boost Mobile and Fox Sports 1350. I am your host, Eternal. And I am the one and only Coach B. You know when it comes to Inland Empire Sports, the conversation starts and stops here. Can we... Uh, can we go ahead and talk about some? Uh, can we talk about some uh, some sports? Because the funny thing is, is off air. We uh, we have a great guest. It's, uh, I think it was second or third year coming in, Santiago, baseball coach. And you guys were were going down memory lane for a little bit, and you were talking about uh, Riverside and all the great things that happened. Because what where, where were you born and raised, Eternal? A uh, uh, great city, of Riverside, California. What city do you love? The Bell Town. Riverside, what city California. do you not have a tattoo of your body on? No not, bell. Yeah, yeah. No. I don't, well, first, I, I don't have any tattoos. I'll be very clear about that. I don't have any. <laughs> I am I am petrified of needles. It was funny because Jamel Hill had uh, posted this picture of when the doctor says, uh, you got to get a shot. Uh-huh. Like, she had this picture of, uh, it, was, it was the picture of my guy in Empire when he got shot, when he was all like that. It was a uh-huh. picture of him because. We're terrified. And you know, the funny thing is, she, I remember uh, Michael, uh, he was giving her giving her the business because she, I guess she has a tattoo of an X on her. Yes. So, yes. so. On, on, oh, yeah. And she, and she admitted that she has a thigh tattoo. So that's kind of, that's kind of crazy too. Yeah. And you know, <laughs> funny story. I, I, I tried to press the missus. You know, when we first got together, we got together when we was 21. And this is at the time I thought about getting a tattoo. And I told her, I said, why don't you get my name tattooed on you? She was like, I don't want to do that in case we break up. I was like, wow. It's like, so you already got thoughts full, in your mind. Full disclosure. Yeah. Right. So I said, well. Well, hey, well, I tell her, I tell her this. Well, get my name. Then it'd be like get my son's name. You know what I mean? But she, she's like that. That didn't work either. She's yeah, like, no. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm we really, both are tattoo free. Yeah, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm you know, hey, hey teeth is on. I'm just, a, I'm, I'm, I'm a happily untattooed gentleman. Exactly. And you know, that's why you know, and, and we can talk to this to coach about this. I mean, the generation now, they have the tattoo sleeves. Well, I, well, their I'm, entire arms are tattooed. I'm okay with an arm. I'm more concerned about the face tattoos because with yeah. that, that right there. Generally speaking, when I if came up, if you want up, employment, right? Well, when I came up, the guys that were doing life in prison were the yeah, guys that had exactly. tattoos on their face. So exactly. I don't know. <laughs> that's that's where I'm getting a little concerned. But anyway, uh, wow, what a great week, uh, Coach B in sports. Did Leangelo ball do anything impressive? I guess he balled. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and speaking of that, the dad. I saw an interview. We talked about this off yes, air. The yes, dad yes. was saying. They can change the name from Chino Hill to Chino Ball. <laughs> you know, and he said, so I was like, Hey, let me tell wow. you something. Let me tell you something. He is full of one line. LeVar. Yeah, he is full of one. You know, hey, put can a mic. Can we get LeVar on the phone? Hey, man, look. Look, they, I mean, the man, he's booked up right now. Uh, uh, right, right. He's probably like, hey, I'm doing, um, what is it, FS1. Guaranteed. I'm doing Colin Cowherd. Yeah. I'll get around yeah, to Fox yeah. Sports 1350 so eventually. You you are the local guy. Exactly. Yeah. You know? <laughs> right. We'll get we'll get him when uh, when, when uh, LaMelo is right. the or something. Right, 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 right. Uh, but yeah, wow, great, great uh, crazy game last night as you were uh, talking about um, Chino Hills uh, out there at Colony High School sold it out. They, I mean, everybody. They have a nice gym. I've really, never really been nice in their gym. gym. Yeah, they're really, really nice gym, which is why they host the games there. Uh, but they sold the place out. It, ironically, without question, what happened was uh, um, uh, is, 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 Bur- is Brigham right? What? What? I, I can't. Whatever. The name of the school that they 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 Molly Wobble. Oh, Birmingham. Night. Birmingham. Birmingham. I was I like, keep, I was like, bring them. <laughs> yeah, because I keep, I, I was like, is Birmingham. That, is, that, is, that, is that Alabama? Yeah. Well, it's not. Think but of it's Dr. Not. King, Birmingham. I, I know. You know. I, yes. I, yeah. I got you. Anyway, I, I digress. But at any rate, but uh, they were nice enough to give the good folks at Chino Hills two hundred tickets. <laughs> yeah. You know, the funny thing is, is growing up in the L.A. area. You know, that's the L.A. That's like L.A. City schools. Oh yeah, no doubt. So about. you know, you know Birmingham, you knew Dorsey, you yeah. knew Crenshaw. Now it's like no one knows those schools anymore. Yeah, and, and well, and, and after last night, they might not be known again. Because uh, Chino thing Hills, is, Southern Section and L.A. Section needs to merge. Uh, you need to have those teams because Southern Section is where you see all the games on Fox Sports West. And right, whatnot. right. You never see city schools anymore. City schools used to be where all the talent was. Right, well, but yeah. But then you got people like myself that moved out here this way and brought, <laughs> and brought his children with them. And, 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 yeah, young BJ. I yeah, think, big I think big ups to 2020, Etiwanda. Yes. I mean, I was out yesterday when, when me and you were on the phone. You were probably like, what is this dude doing? Me and BJ, BJ, I was throwing to him. Okay. He was running routes. And, uh, the work, I, I don't know where he gets his work ethic from. He, he didn't get it from me. 
But, uh, you know, well, I would say in sports, he didn't get it from Okay, me. I was about to say. So, yes, you, yes. You, you, you can give him some business, Prowl, you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, he's good looking. He's tall. He's fast and athletic. So, <laughs> Brandy and I, we may be calling him Warwick soon because that may not be my boy. <laughs> who the pappy? Yeah, right, right. It's going to be a lineup of who the pappy Like is. I said, if he makes the league, I won't say anything. If he doesn't, then we're going to have to talk. You know, on his right. 18th birthday, finally, he wasn't here. Exactly, <laughs> right, right. Kanye all over again. Uh, wow. Uh, and also, uh, we were talking uh, a huge matchup uh, of local kids mm-hmm. uh, a day before yesterday. Uh, was we had uh, Lonzo Ball uh, going head to head with Jordan McLaughlin? Yes, uh, which yes. was Chino Hills and Etiwanda facing off. Right, right. Uh, and you know, in the game, really was an exciting game. Came down to the wire. Uh-huh. Uh, UCLA ended up winning by one. McLaughlin, who's been on the show, on the show. Uh huh. Yes, yes. He is. A, he is. A, um, you know, Jordan is our guy. I right. Guess, I guess I want to call him tennis shoes. Cause I remember right. last time we brought him down. Oh yeah, yeah. I remember last time we brought him to the. Uh, we brought him to the game. Uh, everybody was just was talking about his tennis shoes. Yeah, my daughter said he had some black Yeezys. And uh, refresh me, I'm not a shoe guy. I know you are. Uh-huh. How much are a pair of Yeezys? I, I th- Punch, I want to say, are they two fifty? Like two fifty, three hundred. I thought they were like they said they had like thousand dollar pair of Yeezys. Well, I think they got different kind. Okay, different, okay, different edition. Okay, but okay. I, but anyway, it's way out of my ta- way out of my. You know, we don't. I don't. Now there's some loafers. Right, right. Some, some Goody loafers. I, I, I'll have. tell you this. <laughs> when I grew up. And in, in, in 85, when the Jordans came out, we were living in Compton. Right. Uh, at that time, I told my mother I wanted some Jordans. I told her what the price was. And when she slapped me and I woke up the next week, right. I said, well, I probably won't get any Jordans. Well, you feel, well, like, when we came up, you feared for your life if exactly. you had Jordans. So. Exactly. So because when I was a kid, we couldn't afford them. Yeah, you had to get I have insurance. never owned a pair of Jordans yeah. in my life. Right. That's funny. Now, my well, kids have. Right. Well, you know, I mean, they don't have to fear for their life anymore. You got right. them in a good era. You right, got them in- right, right, right. <laughs> You know, yeah, because when them ones came out, oh boy, boy, I, boy. but I did have the Pro Wing edition from Payless. Indeed, uh, they don't make Pro Wings anymore. Man, do we have a great show lined up right now? We have uh, we have a couple of it's it's Coach Friendly uh, Sunday. Mm-hmm. I mean Saturday, pardon me. Uh, great Saturday. Another afternoon. Riverside native will be calling in. Guaranteed. Arlington is in Riverside, correct? Yes, it is. Okay, okay. Yes, it is. We have a new basketball coach at Arlington. I'm, I'm uh, sorry. No, is that he King? graduated from Arlington? Right, right, yeah, yeah, right. but he's going to be the he's, Citrus Hill the Citrus Hill coach. Yeah, right, 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 right. So he may not like you, man. It's all good. I you mean, know, we, we that don't. was a rival, right? But, but they were around around Ramona time, right? What, what King High School? No, no. Uh, uh, he, oh, no, oh, he went to Arlington. Arlington. Oh, woo. So Ramona oh, and Arlington oh. were rivals, right? Oh yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. okay. I'm sure. He'll, I'm sure he'll have several stories. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes. He like what, what? What? You went to Ramona? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Well, you know, from from what the way it looks, he look, he's a, he's a former basketball player, so he could probably stay lace him back up. So right, 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 right. Really excited about that uh, again. So we'll, we'll be having, and again, it's going to be his first interview with his new job. Yes, sir. We're excited about that as well. Be the first to get him, yes. and then we have Coach Malecki is going to be calling in talking about that Desert Valley. We got to get Coach Rome in as well to talk about the Inland Valley, but the <laughs> Desert Valley, he got it rolling. Yes, he does, and we're really excited to be uh, in association with that. That's going to be taking place very soon. And then, like I said, we have San- uh, Santiago High School in Corona, in Corona, California. The baseball coach, he's been with us. I mean, how many years is it, this is going to be? Second or third? We'd have to ask him. Second yeah. or third year? Second year? All right. So, again, we're really excited about that. Uh, but, again, it's going to be going down. You guys don't want to miss it. Stay right there, man. And we love it. Santiago's always been supportive. We've had the football coach on as well. Indeed. Uh, we've got to get the basketball coach in here. Well, we've been to their facility. Yeah, well, I'm about to say, that what a beautiful campus. Nice, nice campus. Yes, nestled right in the community. Yep. Love it. So, let's let's go ahead and take us a commercial break. Santiago will be on board next uh, at the uh, top of the hour, the bottom of the hour, Maleki, and then we'll have uh, Citrus Hills new coach calling in later on in the show. So you're listening to IE Sports Net, connected by Boost Mobile with Coach B. And Eternal, when it comes to Inland Empire Sports, you know the conversation starts and stops here, live on Fox Sports 1350. You're listening to IESportsNet.com, the Inland Empire Sports Authority. Paid non-attorney spokesperson Adam Pulaski of the Pulaski Law Firm with principal office in Houston, Texas is the attorney responsible for the content of this ad. This ad is not legal advice and the choice of a lawyer should not be based solely upon advertisement. Services may not be available in all states. Attention Zarelto and Prodexa users. If you or a loved one has taken the blood-thinning drugs Zarelto or Prodexa and suffered an injury or even died, you could be entitled to substantial financial compensation. Call 800-282-8605 now. Zarelto and Prodexa 
have been linked to internal bleeding, strokes, and pulmonary embolisms. If you or a loved one has taken these blood-thinning drugs and have been hospitalized for internal bleeding, you could be entitled to substantial financial compensation. Don't be a silent victim. Time is limited to file your claim. Call now for free information and a free consultation. Lines are open 24-7. Call 800-282-8605. That's 800-282-8605. 800-282-8605. You could be entitled to substantial financial compensation. Call 800-282-8605 now. All right, guys. We're ready for our Four Seasons sunroom, and Daddy's going to get a rec room with refreshments. Oh, no. We'll be sleeping under the stars. Mom, what about the one with, you know, the fun? Nice try, little bro. It's a gym. My gym. Hey, Grandma's getting her Four Seasons garden room. Weather tight and still like being outdoors. Maybe a living room. Oh, no, wait. A family hub. Yeah. Yeah. No matter what the budget, the season, or the climate, Four Seasons Sunrooms let you and your family enjoy the outdoors inside. Call now to hear more about these great offers from the premier manufacturer of sunrooms since 1975. More reasons for Four Seasons Now. To find out more, call toll-free 800-973-5533. That's 800-973-5533. Call 800-973-5533 today. Hello, my name is Officer Richard Guerrero, Vice President of the Fontana Police Officers Association. We're more than just a labor organization. The Fontana Police Officers Association is serious about giving back to our community, particularly to our kids. We found that kids who study, do well in school, volunteer regularly and participate in sports are less likely to become involved in criminal activity and illicit drug usage. Each year we provide thousands of dollars in scholarships to local kids, community causes, and we are proud sponsors of the Inland Valley All-Star Classic Series. The Fontana POA and strong community leadership will make way for safer and more prosperous communities. Los Angeles Lakers. This is Xavier Henry from the LA Lakers. And you're listening to IE Sports Day. Yes, we are live in the great city of Riverside, California at the iHeartRadio studios. It's IE Sports Net, connected by Boost Mobile on Fox Sports 1350. I am your host, Eternal. And I am the one and only Coach B. You know, when it comes to Inland Empire Sports, the conversation starts and stops here. I thought G Hollow was playing some real music, and then I heard uh, this. I thought that was some Tony Tony. Tony. Man, I... You know, Holla, you know, Holla, uh, Greg Holla is, you can find him over at Worthington. So, you know, he's playing for all the whippersnappers. Yeah, right, you know, right. So he got all that good stuff over there. So I sound like my parents. He'd be like, boy, that ain't nothing but no Tony, Tony, right. Tony. You know? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> my mother used to be like, that's Parliament. Hey. Fucking delicate. Yeah. Well, that ain't nothing but a Hawaiian silk. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but we are, uh, we are really excited. We have uh, Santiago Baseball. Great city of Corona. I'm t- when I tell you, man, you, you I mean, when they say it never rained in Southern California, I think that meant Corona. Right, I'm right, not right, here right. I tell you, man, Corona is very, very nice. But again, we are here uh, joined by Santiago head baseball coach, Coach Trinidad, IU Sports Net. Day Trinidad. It's D Trinidad. D yeah. Trinidad. We, yeah. I, we okay, left that out. Fine. Okay, well, fine. <laughs> I know he's got to be excited yeah, exactly. because uh, the 91 is about to be done. Right. So Corona, <laughs> they got to be excited <laughs> over there. Oh, man, let me tell you something. That has everybody. No, no it's not just them. Everybody is excited about that because that when you when when you say the word ninety one, I get a headache. Right, I right, mean, right, right. Because it, it's like a nightmare over there. But at any rate, coach, your season has begun. You're participating uh, in a huge tournament known as the Premier Baseball Tournament in Southern California. It's, it's, it's been there for forty two. Actually, excuse me, uh, forty two years of existence. Talk to us a little bit about the experience at the tournament. I mean, you play, you can you can, you can uh, articulate it correctly because I couldn't <laughs> help no, me out with that. Right. Yeah, it's the Loera tournament. Loera, uh, yes. You know, we were asked to be in it. It's always been a premier tournament. We had been in the Newport Elks, and we just we wanted something to change, and so they had come to us and saying, hey, we want to build this up. And, you know, it's just a chance for us to play quality teams like we have, and, and that's just kind of our model. Let's let's play big to get big, and, 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 we're, and we're going that way. Mm-hmm. Indeed, indeed. And another thing, Coach, your, your team, uh, again, you're in a good groove right now after starting off uh, with two losses. You guys are now – uh, on a three-game winning streak with wins over Sonora, uh, Marina, and El Mundina. Uh, give us a recap about those performances, especially on that three-game winning streak. Sure. Well, you know, to start off, we opened up with a Servite at, at Cal Baptist, which was a great game. The two pitchers were both going to Oregon. Wow. So it was just a matter, it was a matter <laughs> of blackout game. Uh, exactly. Yes, yes, stealth yes, night. We yes. called it Stealth Night. So stealth, yes. I like that. It, it, was a, it was a matter of who was going to flinch first. We unfortunately did. Um, they had a couple games under the belt. And, you know, when you play quality teams like right. that, can't afford to make mistakes and then uh 
go out in the second game, El Dorado, you know, we're up in the fifth and we gave up a two run home run and, yeah. and that's it. But, you know, in terms of progress, I was happy with the way things are going. And then obviously we turned it around against uh, Sonora and uh, Marina quality. And then, uh, you know, El Medina today, we have Long Beach Milliken at 11. Nice, mm-hmm. nice. So for the consolation championship. So okay. Fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah. There you go. And once again, we're joined in the studio by Santiago baseball head coach, the Trinidad on IE Sports Net, Fox Sports 1350 with Coach being Eternal. Now, as we mentioned, it's still early in the season. You know, we're we're ways out from league play, but who are some of, you just talked about some of the uh, the opponents you had that are going to go D1. Who are some of your players? I know you guys put them out. Who yeah. are some of the kids that you're excited? Oh, my God, I'm so glad they're coming back this year, Coach. Well, you know, obviously, uh, everyone's consensus All-American is uh, he's already preseason as Bryce Terang. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, he <laughs> just go. Yeah, he, he had been struggling a little bit, and he just got off the, the schneid the other day and started mm-hmm. off with a home run. So, nice. you know, Terang and, and Williams and uh, Frazier, I mean, we, we've got a couple guys we're definitely excited about our catching. And, and then obviously, our, our pitching has been doing well for, for how young as they are. And so, you know, we hopefully we can balance out until we get a couple guys back that are – not ready to go yet, and so we'll be okay. Certainly. And you know, when I was in high school, I was on the you, know, the, you call it the snide. I was on the snide for four years. I just I never got off. Of it. But uh, it was a long process. <laughs> <laughs> All right, be patient, be patient. Right, right. And he sound like just like a coach too. Yeah, Come on, uh, yeah, right. He was trying to coach me up. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah, it, up. it didn't work. It All didn't right. work in high school. <laughs> but you know, looking at the uh, the Laura's tournament, yeah. uh, since 1983, there's been 32 CIF champions that have participated in that game. Last year, 20 of the teams were CIF playoff qualifiers, nine won league championships in 2016. Um, and like you said, they've come out, they've come and reached out to you. Um, d- talk to me about that because I know you're getting a, you're getting a lot of quality invites, and and Santiago Baseball is is becoming one of the premier programs in the IE. How how is that shown with all your hard work, and now you guys are being seriously recognized? You know, it, it's it's a testament to our community, our players, and that have trust the process. When I came in in 2000, 2001. Uh, we, we were basically the bottom of the barrel. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, for them to buy in, administration to buy in, and, and I'm not always a, a nice uh, piece of cake to, to, to be with. <laughs> and, uh, you know, from our facilities to our community, but it's, it's hats off to everybody around. And we, in order to get there, we had to take our lumps. And I always mm-hmm. say it's going to get ugly before it gets pretty, and, and it has. And, mm-hmm. you know, with that, I think the respect, being able to leave your home and go down there and play. And, and that's what we'll do. We're kind of like the old Fresno State coach, hey, football coach. We'll play anybody, right. anytime, anywhere. I love that guy. I, I think he got shafted. But you know, I do too. <laughs> and I actually, were you there at the old campus or the new campus? I was on the new campus. So okay. Over there, but okay. I, I don't know if you saw before, they didn't have much at yeah. the new campus. There was, well, yeah. my, one of my best friends graduated from Santiago. And okay. He told me because his mother still lives by the school. And I said, man, this school is beautiful. When you went, he's like, I didn't go to that school. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah. 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 Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. No, and again, coach, again, as right now, I think one of the, uh, one of the, crown jewels i think right now what they talk about and everybody obviously this is a you know football is big but and here locally baseball is what's going on talk to us about a little bit about the culture of baseball here in the in the inland empire more importantly here in riverside oh it's been tremendous i know some of my mentors that came through here i mean obviously gary rungo just retired uh just out at ukaipa and then one of my favorites was uh, rich graves the riverside poly back right when they were there. yeah so, yeah they started from scratch, and they were the ones who probably, you know, busted through the gates. You know, obviously Tom Kennedy and, and some of those guys as well. And and when I came in, I just looked up, and I kept saying, man, I, I want to be those right, guys. Right, right, right. And right. I just and whatever I could do to pick their brains. And and the one thing is they were always humbled, and I've mm-hmm. always tried to be the same way. And, mm-hmm. and and that's in terms of learning the game. And this game's always going to get better and be bigger, bigger than us. And right. I always, I always say – Baseball doesn't need us. We need baseball. Right, right. exactly. Right, right, right. Exactly. Now, and again, coach, talk to us about this because again, you guys are defending champions. Uh, last season, you uh, last season, uh, co- what Corona, yep. Norco uh, finished with, with twenty wins, and again, you and King finished with seventeen wins. Absolutely, uh, very solid league you guys have there. Talk to us about how competitive that league is there. Well, and I think that that attributes to our preseason because we do start league on Tuesday. We open okay. up a Centennial wow. at home and. You know, Kings reloaded, uh, Corona, they're, they're, they're ready to tear somebody apart. And, right. And so, uh, I remember two years ago, we won nine, no, we won 19 or 20 games, mm-hmm. and we didn't we didn't win in the league. I mean, we wow. didn't even get to the playoffs. Right. I wow. think we're 19 and 7, didn't we? Won the, we, we won the wrong games. <laughs> or last, last year, you know, we came back and bounced back. The league is going to be tough. I and mean, then you yeah. see Roosevelt is, is like, I think, 5 and 1 or 6 right. and 1. Right, yeah. It's, yeah. It, there's no day off. Mm-hmm. And that's the thing. We got to be ready to go. I think the league champ is going to be nine and six, ten and five. Wow! wow. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. how tough it is. Yeah, that yeah. is a competitive league. And you know, coach, looking at the schedule, I know you said the base, the, the big, uh, the, the league is, is going to be, to be eight, tough. Yeah. But you're also again, you're going to be in the Boric, Boric, Boris tournament. Boris tournament. 
Um, and that, I mean, looking at that tournament, that is one of the, that's, if it's not, you know, the Loras are most prestigious uh, in Southern yeah. California, but this tournament's right behind that. It's got to be probably the number two tournament in the country. Right, wow. and it's invitation only, right? Invitation only. Wow. Uh, it's the fifth year they're having it. This is our third year being invited. Nice. Um, it, it, anybody that's in everybody is usually mm-hmm. there, and, and in terms of scouts and whatnot, and I mm-hmm. think that does a lot for in terms of our program, our quality. And just getting kids out there and notice mm-hmm. if, if you have any aspiration of moving on and you're going to play in that tournament, you're going to see the best of the best. And right. you do. I mean, right. We open up a Bishop Bomont first night. Oh, right. wow. Right. So, yeah. so, so everything is real. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. You better be ready to play. Yeah. yeah. And then one thing that I, I, I know that it's kind of off the cuff, but I want to ask about this. Um, there's been talked about the NFL needs a, a minor league system. Um, they've tried to develop one. And they had NFL Europe, but it hasn't really worked. Uh, the NBA... You know, if you don't want kids going straight from high school to the NBA, they've, they've been talked to maybe let them go to the D League. Okay. But I would say this with baseball, you guys have the best minor league system. Um, and, and I think with, with when, when kids, they'll go away for two or three years because they're yeah. doing minor leagues, they're going the back roads. I mean, yep. even, you know, the big name guys yep. like uh, Trout or whatnot, they're yeah. playing in Iowa they're or grinding. whatnot. Yeah. Right. So, so do you think that, and that's why you look at baseball, they have players like, like, uh, what's our guy from the, the Mets? He just retired. Not, not the, not the captain. Um, uh, what's, what's the other guy? He's dating J-Lo now. Oh, uh, A-Rod. A-Rod. I mean, he's, he's what, 41, 42? Yeah. And he's still playing. And you, you see no, that not in baseball. No more. Oh, I mean, he's right. I'm sorry. He just retired. You see that a lot in baseball. Do you think that goes with the way that your players are? I mean, they, they learn to be professionals and they learn the system. Is it, it, You don't see player, baseball players burn out, I would say, like you see other sports. No. <clears throat> Excuse me. Because of that, the minor league system get, does gear you towards that. You know? mm-hmm. Or if you're in college ball, a lot of times you get sent – to play in summer leagues. Right. A couple years ago, I was in Newport, Rhode Island, and we got kids from Vanderbilt, Louisville. Wow. And that's kind of a, a, a small taste of what it's going to be like to right. grind. I mean, you're playing every day. You're on buses. I mean, right. we're, we're driving to Vermont, right, right. Connecticut. So those things definitely get players ready. Um, it's just, are they mature enough to handle that? Right, Especially, right, right. like I said, they're be given all this money, but yet, hey, you get over there, you're making the save twelve hundred dollars right. in the first rounder as right. the thirtieth rounder. Right. Right. He may have a bonus somewhere sitting right. in the bank, but you're, right, right. you're no different than me. Right, yeah. right, and right. And so, you know, like with us, you know, Chan Cisco being in Triple A and, and Adam Hofak at Double A with them, he, it's the same grind. Right, right. And, right, and it's right. funny to hear them talk when they stop by the school. And, yeah. And they, and, but they it, talk about t- the grind. They and talk and, and, about it. They're just talking about bus rides and the yeah. fields and yeah. the food. And, yeah. Oh, and yeah. one thing yeah. that I always love when I first moved out here uh, to to uh, to Rancho Cucamonga, I lived in an apartment building, Mountainside, and it was about three or four of the kids that played for the Quakes. Yep. They yep. actually lived in our building. Yeah. So it was pretty cool to see them and How see them live. go through their yeah. journey. Yeah. 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 It's, it's like it's almost like still college. Oh, guarantee. Yeah. And, that, and then all of a sudden, next thing you know, they're, you know, they're in the big yeah. leagues. Yeah. They're so, big leagues. They're big leagues. So, coach, again, man, keep up the good work. I know you got a game, and best of luck today. Uh, yeah, but again, he told me I, I got to get out of here yeah, by eight thirty. No, we get you out of here, man. <laughs> no, but thanks I a lot. Us, you know, thanks you. a lot, man. Thanks a lot. Uh, you know, for the for the administration over there at Santiago High School. Again, you guys have a great school over there. Keep up the good work, and please let us know. Keep us up to date on on the, on your progress this season. I appreciate okay, it, guys. Thank you. I owe you guys some uh, stealth hats. Hey, right. man, we got and then it. the yeah. wins. Pardon? The wins. You tweeted it. Oh yes, exactly. And congratulations on <laughs> yes, that, Coach you. Man. I mean, what what a you know. And can you talk to us about that, man? About sure. how, how special that was. If for you, you got a minute, I, I, I <laughs> got a minute. You know, like anything, I, I was humbled by it. I mean, I, I didn't want to make it a big deal. I don't even, th- you know, my players had no idea, and one yeah. of my coaches is the one that kind of set it out. Honestly, guys, it, it, you're as good as the people around you. And you oh, know yeah. that. You look at the crew around you. My assistant coaches, my administrator. I mean, I've been through four administrators. They've all been supportive. Nice. And then again, your coaches and your players. They've right. they've, they've trusted what we've done. And I say we because we, you know, we came in with an idea. Right. And it's gone. I, I and I get it's a tough journey. I mean, coaching mm-hmm. today is tough. Oh yeah. Right. You know, oh yeah. There's a lot of changed. distractions. A right. lot of distractions. Just a lot out there and a lot of expectations. And so. For the players to come in and, and, and believe in what we're doing, it, it's a testament. I'm humbled. I mean, like I said, I, I look at a lot of my mentors and I, who I wanted to be like, and right. I'm just, I, I you know, I, even when it happened, I, I was like, no, no, we're good. Yeah, we're yeah. good. I, right. I worry about the next game. It's, exactly. it's the kids. You exactly. Know? Just, now well, I understand it. Well, congratulations, <laughs> Coach. You You're doing much. a good job, and keep up the good work. And like I said, please keep us in the loop, okay? Absolutely. Absolutely. All right, fantastic. Absolutely. All, right. All, right. All right. So let's go. I know he has a game to get yes, to. Yes, let's yes. take a commercial break. The Santiago uh, Sharks may, maybe have some of the best uniforms out there. Yes, I'm here to tell you. Yes, oh my yes. And you know, even just that league, because them and Roosevelt, they, I know. they have the battle for I uniforms. Know. I'm supremacy. telling you. I'm telling you. you know? It's crazy. It's crazy. Yes. So you're listening to IE Sports Net connected by Boost Mobile with Coach B. And Eternal. When it comes to Inland Empire Sports, you know the conversation starts and stops here live on Fox Sports 1350. Coach Malecki will be calling up next, but we want to thank once again Santiago Baseball for coming in. Thanks, guys. You're listening to iesportsnet.com.
the Inland Empire Sports Authority. Paid non attorney spokesperson Adam Pulaski of the Pulaski Law Firm with principal office in Houston, Texas, is the attorney responsible for the content of this ad. This ad is not legal advice, and the choice of a lawyer should not be based solely upon advertisement. Services may not be available in all states. Attention, Zarelto and Prodexa users. If you or a loved one has taken the blood thinning drugs Zarelto or Prodexa and suffered an injury or even died, you could be entitled to substantial financial compensation. Call 800 282 8605 now. Zarelto and Prodexa have been linked to internal bleeding, strokes, and pulmonary embolisms. If you or a loved one has taken these blood thinning drugs and have been hospitalized for internal bleeding, you could be entitled to substantial financial compensation. Don't be a silent victim. Time is limited to file your claim. Call now for free information and a free consultation. Lines are open 24 7. Call 800 282 8605. That's 800 282 8605. 800 282 8605. You could be entitled to substantial financial compensation. Call 800 282 8605 now. All right, guys. We're ready for our four season sunroom, and Daddy's going to get a rec room with refreshments. Oh, no. We'll be sleeping under the stars. Mom, what about the one with, you know, the fun? Nice try, little bro. It's a gym. My gym. Hey, Grandma's getting her Four Seasons garden room. Weather tight and still like being outdoors. Maybe a living room. Oh, no, wait. A family hub. Yeah. Yeah. No matter what the budget, the season, or the climate, Four Seasons Sunrooms let you and your family enjoy the outdoors inside. Call now to hear more about these great offers from the premier manufacturer of sunrooms since 1975. More reasons for Four Seasons now. To find out more, call toll-free 800-973-5533. That's 800-973-5533. Call 800-973-5533 today. Hello, my name is Officer Richard Guerrero, Vice President of the Fontana Police Officers Association. We're more than just a labor organization. The Fontana Police Officers Association is serious about giving back to our community, particularly to our kids. We found that kids who study, do well in school, volunteer regularly and participate in sports are less likely to become involved in criminal activity and illicit drug usage. Each year we provide thousands of dollars in scholarships to local kids, community causes, and we are proud sponsors of the Inland Valley All-Star Classic Series. The Fontana POA and strong community leadership will make way for safer and more prosperous community. Score Sports has been a loyal partner in the sports industry for over 40 years. Founded in 1975, Score Sports has always been a family-owned and operated business located in the heart of Southern California. They offer a full line of youth and adult soccer uniforms, accessories, and field equipment, youth and adult basketball uniforms and accessories and equipment. Score Sports can outfit your coaches and league referees as well, and much more. Their dedication and attention to detail has transformed Score Sports into one of the leading sport uniform manufacturers in the United States. Visit their spacious warehouse at 726 East Anaheim Street in Wilmington or call them today at 800-626-7774. That's 800-626-7774. Or visit them on the web at scoresports.com. That's scoresports.com at facebook.com slash scoresports or on Twitter and Instagram with the handle Score Sports. That's S-C-O-R-E-S-P-O-R-T-S. Yo, what up? This is Send Dog from Cypress Hill. You're listening to me on IE Sportsnet. All day long, all day strong, you heard? Yes, we are live in the great city of Riverside, California at the iHeartRadio studios. This is IE Sportsnet, connected by Boost Mobile and Fox Sports 1350. I am your host, Eternal. And I am the one and only Coach B. You know when it comes to Inland Empire Sports and the expert on Aaliyah music, <laughs> uh, the conversation starts and stops here on Fox Sports 1350. Hey, man, what a great Saturday, uh, Saturday morning going into the afternoon. We have a huge event uh, we've been asso- in association with. And when I tell you this gentleman, his fingers have to be swollen. I love because. it, man, because, you know, we, we sometimes we get relaxed. We want to take a break, but he's motivated me. No, yeah, he's got me off the bench. I'm ready to rock. And, <laughs> and you got of, off the bench? Oh, yeah, guaranteed. I never got off the bench. Well, no, I did. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You know, okay. Hope, and, if, and if Coach Malecki ever wants to have a seniors tournament, we're yeah. ready to go. <laughs> uh, but here we are, we, we, uh, Coach B. We're joined on the phone by Desert Valley All-Star Game Director Coach Malecki from Iceman Basketball on IE Sports Net. Fox Sports 1350 with Coach B and Eternal. He called in right on time. I love it. How you doing, Coach? 
I'm doing wonderful. Hey, I just got back from a recruiting trip, uh, so I, you know, really tired, but uh, got on the plane and uh, attendants walking by and said, Coach, and, you know, I, looked, I didn't have any gear on, right? So I sit down, walk by again, and they said, Coach, and I'm like, gosh, how do they know, you know? Walk by the third time, I said, hey, how do you know I'm a coach? And she said, no, this is first class. <laughs> coach is in the back. <laughs> so that's how much respect coaches get. How are you guys doing know. this morning? Hey, man, we are doing uh, really good, Coach. Uh, again, really excited to have you on. Uh, coach, again, you have two events this month uh, that Ice Sportsnet is on board with, uh, the first of which is going to be the eighth annual college evaluation and recruiting night, which is going to be on March 24th at Lakeside. Talk to us a little bit about that. Well, I'm really excited. Uh, this morning I just got commitment from Regis University to attend. Right nice. now we're, we're uh, just, you know, calling a bunch and contacting a bunch of coaches about right. coming out to the event. But I started it eight years ago. I was a college coach for a long time and moved out uh, to Temecula, Murrieta area in 2005. And there wasn't a lot of stuff for our kids. I, I had teams back then. I was doing travel ball. I wasn't going to coach anymore, and I kind of got asked to do some stuff. And, um, you know, we started this because the IE is so large. I looked it up today. It's 27,000 square miles. It's just unbelievable how big it is. And really, there's only eight colleges in this in this area. Right. Um, so, you know, per capita, there's just not a lot of schools. It's so open and spread out. It's beautiful. I love living here, but it's just hard for kids to be seen. So that's why we did it. Um, and, you know, I invite everybody to come out. I haven't had teams for three years. I have no horse in the race. I'm not trying to recruit kids away from anybody. I'm just trying to help. At this stage of my career, I'm in the giving back mode. So I want to help as many kids as possible. And every year we've been very blessed to help three or four kids get placed, uh, you know, right after the event. And, you know, I'm friends with a lot of the JUCO guys, right. uh, D2 guys. So I, I know levels of play, and I refer kids every year. A lot of them don't even know I do it, and it's not a big deal. But, you know, that's what I feel good in doing now. And I do a few a year, and I'm just, you know, very excited to have you guys on board. You guys motivate me, um, you know. And then, and then it's hard it's hard being a high school coach nowadays. You know, there's so much work that has to be done, and it's almost like a JUCO season for these guys. So, you know, I tell them, hey, you know, come on out. That's the good thing, too, is we have a lot of coaches that participate in it. Right, so it's right. not uh, – it's not helter skelter. It's not craziness. It's just good, solid coaches, and we try to get the best players we can, whether they're under the radar or they're a top recruit. We try to get them all. Now, coach, real quick. Now, what's the format, and how can kids take part of this? Well, they can they can sign up individually. So, if you're part of a travel team, that's fine. But we're going to put you separate you a little bit. But you can sign up individually, and uh, they can go to my website, IcemanBasketball.com, or they can tweet me, Todd at Todd Malecki, and I'm sure you guys will have that posted someplace. But, uh, you know, we have high school coaches that, high school and college coaches that give instruction. Mark Hart from Patriot, Resparilla Torres, Harupa Hills, uh, Pablo Garcia, San Gregorio, Ryan Rogers, who used to coach with me at Iceman at Paris High School, right. Darren French, East L.A., that's my boy. They lost uh, in the Elite Eight, and I'm so proud of him. Brian Weathers, Murrieta Valley, and Weathers Elite, played at Cal. He's doing a it just does a wonderful job there. And then, you know, some of the JUCO guys come in and they, they want to coach it. So what they like about it is they can work the kids out. They can kind of get an idea of what they're about. There's nothing more than better than being at an event live and able to coach kids directly. Watching them play, sometimes watching them on tape. Uh, you know, people send a lot of tape out and stuff. There's nothing better than being at something live and then actually able to coach the guy. So I encourage coaches to come in. So they get a 45-minute hard school workout. Then we do a 45-minute college-level practice. And you guys saw me in the summer. You know, I'm pretty mellow as I'm getting older here, but you know, I'm about probably 75% of what I used to be. But I can, we can get it going. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll intense, <laughs> the, the, the intensity level will skyrocket, and these kids will go, what is it? You know, it's just there's no – messing around there's no ulterior motives it's like who can play who can't and who's going to hustle who's going to listen who's going to you know get recruited and that's what we do and, right. uh, and right. then they play after that we put them on a couple you know we put them on teams they play two or three games and they don't hustle or we pull them out yeah and you, you know, know 
Uh, you know, one thing, Coach, I know you talked about uh, the colleges and the media. Uh, we know IE Sportsnet's going to be there. We know Press Enterprise is involved. How many uh, colleges and how much media do you expect to be out at the event? Well, right now I'm at close to 40, and I'm still calling and, and tweeting and emailing as many as I can. Um, if they can't be there, they trust me enough to ask for a report on it, so I'll send out the best players you know, that we like there. Um, but you know, I've got a commitment from a, a lot of different schools, prep schools, uh, Division IIs, NAIAs, um, a lot of teams from the Pac West, the CC2A, which is Division II. Um, you know, a lot of the newer schools like Bethesda and Life Pacific, uh, Miramar University, those are new programs that need players. Santiago College is a, is a community college that's starting from scratch, so they're going to be there. They need, they need 12, they need 15 guys. Mm -hmm. So they're going to be there. So uh, over 40 so far um, committed, and then media is uh, Hoop Whisperer, uh, uh, Joey. Uh, Valenzuela and, um, oh gosh, uh, mid-major hoop reports, Liddell Hill so far. But I've talk I'm talking to Ronnie Flores. I'm talking to, I've emailed Joe Francisco. I'd like, you know, the best of the best out there to help you know, help get our kids uh, noticed and, and get them pubbed. So. And, then, and your second event is something that IE Sportsnet is sponsoring, like we talked about, as well as the Press Enterprise. You have DCH Auto Group, Logo Joes, uh, Weathers Elite Basketball, Sizzler. Now, do me a favor, Coach, uh, if you can send me some vouchers for that Sizzler. You know, funny, funny story is when I first met my wife, we were 21 years old, and I asked her, I said, we were going to get ready to go on a date. I said, what's your favorite place to eat? I, I swear to you, see said Sizzler. Um, I, got, I got your so, back. So, I got your back, Coach. <laughs> and then the Riverside Sheriffs are, are also a part of the 11th annual Desert Valley All-Star Game. Uh, tell us about that game. I know you have two events, uh, so we don't want to confuse anybody. So tell us a little bit about that event and, and why you're so excited. This is the 11th annual. It's only first year IE Sportsnet will be involved, but we're so excited to be a part of this. Oh, my gosh, yeah. The, uh, you know, after the event on the 24th, I, I started the event on the 24th to help kids kind of build up before the All-Star game, so I like to get a lot of those All-Stars to my event. But the one on the 31st at Lakeside High School is our 11th annual Desert Valley All-Star game. I started it, again, like I told you, when we moved out here, it, it, there just wasn't a lot of different opportunities. And so we started from scratch and slowly built it and you know, I just think if you're nose to the grindstone and work hard and you get the you know best possible players you can and you make it an entertaining game where the kids play really hard I think that's what sets us apart quite a bit is there's no nonsense and kids they're wearing their jersey and for some of them it might be the last time mm -hmm. so I tell them you know play your butt off you know you're representing your family you're representing your school your community you know there's always somebody watching no, you never know who it is. And it might be this game is where, you know, a great example is Reggie Varner last year from, you know, Rancho Verde. Uh, Saddleback came and watched him, and they loved him. He had a great year at Saddleback. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, so every year we get kids picked up from the game, um, you know, and have you guys on board. Um, Sizzler, good family friends of mine. Um, the Riverside Sheriffs, uh, you know, Brian's helping me quite a bit with Weathers Elite. The Press Enterprise, DCH Auto Group. I was just, and by the way, they're gonna we're gonna bring some of the local kids over there and take some pictures. But uh, you know, talk about media and just uh, a tremendous. I have a tremendous respect for you know for you guys and what you bring to the table and and how hard we work to make this as good as we can for the kids. But I'll tell you what, they uh, for the girls' game. Unbelievable. We just got a commitment from a UCR girl that signed. Uh, that's our. I think our fifth or sixth UCR girl that's played in the game, and that's because wow. of my friendship with Coach Margaritas. He does a great job there, and oh, yeah. he always says nice things. You know, Brittany Crane played in the game, was two-time Big West Player of the Year. Uh, on the boys' side, I mean, there's some talent, and every year, you know, there's one or two that just have a blowout game. A great example is uh, Noah Valenzuela last year, the deaf uh, young man, had a fantastic game. Next game he went and played, and he was MVP, and it was in the uh, Sports Illustrated. He's playing at Gallaudet. Um, we have a girl this year, Morgan Allums from Cornerstone Christian, that averaged 21 points and 23 rebounds a game. Well, we're excited, Coach. We can't wait. 
We'll be there on March 31st. We're excited. We're pressed up against the clock, but we thank you so much for calling in, uh, giving us some information. So we will be there at both events. If anyone needs information, make sure you go to Iceman Basketball on the Internet. Go to Todd Malecki's Twitter. And we, we can't wait to get out there, Coach. Thanks for calling in so early in the morning. God bless you guys. Have a great day. Go out and play hoop today, kids. <laughs> there you go. All right, man. So let, let's take a, a, a quick commercial break. We're excited. As we said, the Citrus Hills coach should be calling up soon. He should. We have him calling in at the 845 mark. Uh, he, this is going to be, if I'm not, uh, I hope I'm correct, this will be his first interview since yes. the announcement. Since the announcement, man. Yes, so. yes. So, it, it, And a huge announcement, by the are way. Are you okay well. with that? He's in Arlington. Hey, I, I'm good. Uh, they're I'm the good. Lions, right? Yeah, I'm, hey, I'm, okay. I'm good with that, okay. man. I just no problem. Make sure, I want to make sure there's no, no problems, <laughs> you know. So let's go ahead and take us a quick commercial break. Uh, you're listening to IE Sports Net, connected by Boost Mobile with the one and only amazing, the greatest coach, B. Cut his mic off. Uh, Andy Turtle, when it comes to Illinois Empire Sports, you know the conversation starts and stops here live on Fox Sports 1350. You're listening to IESportsNet.com, the Inland Empire Sports Authority. Paid non attorney spokesperson Adam Pulaski of the Pulaski Law Firm with principal office in Houston, Texas, is the attorney responsible for the content of this ad. This ad is not legal advice, and the choice of a lawyer should not be based solely upon advertisement. Services may not be available in all states. Attention, Zarelto and Prodexa users. If you or a loved one has taken the blood thinning drugs Zarelto or Prodexa and suffered an injury or even died, you could be entitled to substantial financial compensation. Call 800 282 8605 now. Zarelto and Prodexa have been linked to internal bleeding, strokes, and pulmonary embolisms. If you or a loved one has taken these blood thinning drugs and have been hospitalized for internal bleeding, you could be entitled to substantial financial compensation. Don't be a silent victim. Time is limited to file your claim. Call now for free information and a free consultation. Lines are open 24 7. Call 800 282 8605. That's 800 282 8605. 800 282 8605. You could be entitled to substantial financial compensation. Call 800 282 8605 now. All right, guys, we're ready for our four-season sunroom, and Daddy's going to get a rec room with refreshments. Oh, no, we'll be sleeping under the stars. Mom, what about the one with, you know, the fun? Nice try, little bro. It's a gym, my gym. Hey, Grandma's getting her Four Seasons garden room, weather tight and still like being outdoors. Maybe a living room. Oh, no, wait, a family hub. Yeah. Yeah. No matter what the budget, the season, or the climate, Four Seasons Sunrooms let you and your family enjoy the outdoors inside. Call now to hear more about these great offers from the premier manufacturer of sunrooms since 1975. More reasons for four seasons now. To find out more, call toll-free 800-973-5533. That's 800-973-5533. Call 800-973-5533 today. Hello, my name is Officer Richard Guerrero, Vice President of the Fontana Police Officers Association. We're more than just a labor organization. The Fontana Police Officers Association is serious about giving back to our community, particularly to our kids. We found that kids who study, do well in school, volunteer regularly and participate in sports are less likely to become involved in criminal activity and illicit drug usage. Each year we provide thousands of dollars in scholarships to local kids, community causes, and we are proud sponsors of the Inland Valley All-Star Classic Series. The Fontana POA and strong community leadership will make way for safer and more prosperous communities. Score Sports has been a loyal partner in the sports industry for over 40 years. Founded in 1975, Score Sports has always been a family-owned and operated business located in the heart of Southern California. They offer a full line of youth and adult soccer uniforms, accessories, and field equipment. Youth and adult basketball uniforms and accessories and equipment. Score Sports can outfit your coaches and league referees as well, and much more. Their dedication and attention to detail has transformed Score Sports into one of the leading sport uniform manufacturers in the United States. Visit their spacious warehouse at 726 East Anaheim Street in Wilmington or call them today at 800-626-7774. That's 800-626-7774. Or visit them on the web at scoresports.com. That's scoresports.com at facebook.com slash scoresports or on Twitter and Instagram with the handle Score Sports. That's S-C-O-R-E-S-P-O-R-T-S. 
What's up? This is TJ Ward from the Denver Broncos. You're now tuning to Iron Sports. The Inland Empire Sports Authority. Yes, we are back in the great city of Riverside, California at the iHeartRadio studios. It's IU Sportsnet connected by Boost Mobile on Fox Sports 1350. I am your host, Eternal. And I am the one and only Coach B. You know, when it comes to Inland Empire Sports, the conversation starts and stops here. I'm pretty excited. Um, I, I, you know, I, correct us if we're, we're wrong, Coach, but we, we believe this will be your first radio interview since, the, uh, since you were introduced as the new Citrus Hill basketball coach on IE Sports Fox Sports 1350 with Coach B and Eternal. Uh, coach Hopkins, are you there? I am here, and yes, I am. This is my first interview. It's been a crazy 24 hours. Oh, I can only imagine, Coach. Uh, coach, give us, give us a rundown um, how you were notified about this and, and the process. Cause as you said, it's been a crazy 24 hours. Kind of let our audience know how this thing all transpired. Well, uh, I, I was assistant at Citrus this year, and with uh, everything that Hatch had to resign because of some health complications and just uh, getting himself right, um, the AD contacted me and just told me to apply and get my resume letter interest in. And I think they pushed me uh, to the front of the group, and then I got an interview, and then the next thing you know, the next day I was I was in action. They they hired me up there, so it was real quick. I can imagine. I know that must have been a, a, a pleasant surprise for you. And looking at your bio, coach, again, you've had a very impressive career. A career, excuse me, as a player, uh, you played professionally with the U. Excuse me, with the VFL State. And you're also a Riverside native, graduated from Arlington High School with the Lions. <laughs> and, and, and now you have, and again, now you're going to be uh, leading this uh, Citrus Hills team. Uh, talk to us about uh, about this experience, about how you think your playing experience is going to transpire to your coaching. Well, I've always wanted to uh, coach since I was in high school, and I just figured, you know, the longer I could play, the more I could learn. I've, I've been lucky enough to play for some amazing coaches, and uh, playing in Germany and pros, that was a new experience. Uh, quicker game, right. shorter shot clock. Um, got a, it's a real long season. Kind of got that business approach to it because it's your job, right. and uh, <laughs> yeah, got to you got to score to stay basically. Right. And um, yeah, just learning sets and all those little things, just all the little things you learn from from different coaches. You learn things you like, you learn things you don't like, and kind of just piecing it together. But uh, I would like to speed up the game a little bit, and playing pros, that, that helped me out a lot. You have to play fast up there. And, you know, Coach, I know you. the, the regular season's just wrapped up. We, we're, we're in the state playoffs, but the regular season wrapped up not too long ago. So you, we, we have some time before next year starts, and you were a part of the team last year. But are, are there some? have you been in contact with some of your kids that are going to be returning uh, next year uh, since the announcement? Uh, has, has, has there been any uh, – response from any of the players you know social media is everywhere yeah it, it spreads like a like california wildfire <laughs> <laughs> sure, but but um uh, i had a little meeting with the guys uh, the ad mr Shear introduced uh, me to the team yesterday during lunchtime so whoever was on campus got to meet uh no officially but um yeah we met a little bit we got about five returners from last year's team nice. and then uh, a couple a lot of young good freshmen that came up from the jv so I talked to them a little bit. I didn't get into too much detail, but just let them ask any questions if they're confused on anything that happened, right. and just kind of keep them up to date. I just, you know, how fifteen-year-olds are. Oh, Fifteen-year-olds, yeah. oh, yeah. panic. So. <laughs> yeah, I have one at home, so I know. <laughs> <laughs> and then, coach, you know, we're 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 going to touch back on your career as a player. We did some digging. Uh, so uh -oh. I, I was able to go on the, the Cal Baptist website. Uh, so you are, you, uh, when we saw you were announced as a, uh, you were going to play over there at Cal Baptist, you were one of the top players when you went over uh, a 6'5 wingman that led the county in scoring at 25.5 uh, 25 points per game. And you were also in the top 10 in the county for three-pointers made. Um, is it, how is it being back home because you were in Germany for a while? What is the, and I know you coached on the staff last year. How is it to be back home? And, and again, my co-host Eternal is a Ramona Ram. Uh, and if you have any stories about, you know, when you working them over in high school, uh, the Rams, let us know because we love to give the Rams the business. But how, what is it like to be back home? It's amazing. That was a good experience over there, but there's nothing like being back home and uh, just being around your family. And I, I come from a good, strong family, so just having their support has been great. Just it was different living over there. I love basketball, but I also love my family. So it came to that time where I was like, okay, I, I know that, you know, I'm not going to make it to the NBA. I might as well uh, 
start pursuing a career and and uh, be with them. But um, as far as basketball goes, with the old old stats, I just I never seen a shot I didn't like. So. <laughs> I heard that. Now, what, are you going to tell your you're going to let your, your kids going to hear the show? So, so they're they're probably going to say that, Coach. <laughs> like, hey, Coach, I was just doing what you were doing. Now, now, <laughs> now, 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 now let me, real quick question. So, he's, when he's did, about to talk Ramona. So, when did you graduate from high school? I graduated 2007. Okay, so so at that time, did you guys have any? I mean, you guys obviously played Ramona at that time, I imagine. Ramona, yeah, there was the old Ivy League. They were in the league with us with all the Riverside schools with King and Folly. They had Quincy Brewer as their exactly. coach. Exactly, so. that was Quincy when he was a coach. That and they won yeah, that year, so, if I'm not mistaken, right? Uh, I think we split. Okay. I think we split. Yeah, give it to him, um, Coach. Give it to him. <laughs> <laughs> No, he was. Uh, they had a good. They had a good little run there for a couple of years. Oh, yeah. and, uh, it was. Uh, I, that league was competitive. It was every game was was. Uh, you never know who was going to get it, and I mean they had they had guys that could fill it up too. But yeah, Arlington Ramona, a little rivalry. All the kids know each other, oh, yeah. and the games are crowded. It's fun, but oh. uh, I still managed to get a couple points in there. I heard that, coach. Uh, hey, coach Mendel, I tell you what, we're really excited uh, about you making that jump. Uh, I know you're excited. I know you're really ready to lace them up. And, uh, and, again, man, thank you for making yourself available for the interview. Oh, I appreciate it. Anytime. Thanks for having me. I'm, I'm glad to do it. And, you know, before we go, you know, I, I wanted to ask you, Coach, um, I, I, let's name drop, and then if, if you have, what are your expectations for next season? Because I, I know we're pressed up against the clock. But just give us some of your expectations for next season uh, with you now being the lead of the team. Uh, uh, you know, I just want to be competitive. I think every year the goal is to be competitive, try to compete for the league title, and then make a playoff run. That's that's the ultimate goal every year, and I think that uh, Citrus is in a position to do that every year. So it's it's real. Uh, it's just a great opportunity to have my first coaching job be in a program where we could be competitive immediately, and that's that's always the goal. So that's that's what I expect the kids to uh, play hard and and do what's asked of them and act like, uh, more importantly, become respectable young men and ready to be right. uh, uh, contribute to society when they're done with basketball. Well, we certainly appreciate you giving us a call in your first radio interview since the announcement broke. Uh, I know it was, it's been a crazy 24 hours for you, but we definitely want to get you in studio once the season kicks off. Uh, we oh, will definitely sure. be watching. Um, so, yeah, so, so thank you so much for giving us a call. The brand new head coach from Citrus High School Basketball, Coach David Hopkins. Uh, thank you, guys. Thank you so much for the help and the, and the advertisement. <laughs> Citrus Hills. Citrus, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, not, a, I'm, not, a, I'm not an Inland Empire guy, so <laughs> eternal let me know. It's Citrus Hill. I'm yes, sorry. indeed, the Hawks. Okay, Coach, you take care, man. Enjoy your Saturday. I right, appreciate it. Have a good day. Fantastic. Thank you, Kyle. All right, later. Yeah, because when you say citrus, it's a totally there there's, is citrus. It's citrus college exactly. and whatnot. Citrus. I always do that when, when when we remember we were calling the game and we had uh, Chino Hills. <laughs> right, right. Uh, and, and I can't think of the the kid that we had on the show two years. The mother texted us during the broadcast. Oh yes, uh, uh, it's uh, Chino Hills. Right, and, and, not and, Chino. Yeah, she made sure. <laughs> yeah, because they they wanted. They, I guess I guess there's a difference in I don't know eighty thousand dollars or so. In, a little in, bit in, more on those houses. <laughs> yeah, it depends on what part of uh, Chino Hills you're in. So yeah, exactly. Uh, but again, we have a. Uh, I don't, you want to you want to go to break? Or you want to go ahead? And we can uh, we can knock out. We can do a quick minute of break because when we come back, I want to talk about some local news and what. Yeah, about said we got, we have a couple local stories, so we're gonna go to break real quick. So you're listening to IE Sports Net connected by Boost Mobile with Coach B and Eternal. When it comes to Inland Empire Sports, you know the conversation starts and stops here. Live on Fox Sports 1350. IE Sports Net dot com, the Inland Empire Sports Authority. You're listening to iesportsnet.com, the Inland Empire Sports Yes, we're right back at it. IE Sportsnet right here live in Riverside at the I, excuse me at the iHeartRadio Sports Studio. On Fox Sports 1350 with Coach B and Eternal. Guaranteed. You know, you know when the, when the conference just starts, it starts and stops right here. You know, one thing I was just looking at my Twitter feed, I guess Floyd has made it official that he's coming back and he wants to fight one person. I don't understand this. I, I know it's a money grab. I get it. But I, I mean, if Floyd loses, 
it, it ruins a perfect career. How does McGregor win in this? He, he's not going to beat him in a, in a boxing match. Well, I, I, is he talking about he's going to come back and fight him, though? Yeah, he said only to fight him. Only to fight him. Uh, so how does McGregor, other than just being a money grab, what, what is money? Uh, and I guess money is, you know, I was money about to say, well, yeah. You know? I mean, you're talking about 50. I mean, they're talking about maybe about 100. For McGregor? No, they're talking about that, that, that he'll be able to make collectively off this. Okay, because, okay. And, and, I'm, and what I'm saying, he, they're talking about with Floyd, because when you tie in what, what the pay-per-view is going to be uh, with that, I mean, it, it's going to be crazy. I'll it, ask you this. Is this the beginning of the end of boxing? No, because, you know, we've seen uh, stuff like this happen before. Uh, right now, I think boxing is, is still in a really good place. I mean, I just, we just got through watching the, um, you know, we saw a local fight. We had a local guy that was fighting here at Pechanga Casino, which, mm-hmm. was, which was extremely entertaining. Mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm. We, we just saw uh, uh, Garcia and, and uh, Keith Thurman have a really good fight that went the distance. Mm-hmm. So, this, I mean, this, there's still a lot of good fights out there in terms of boxing. It's just like right now with Floyd, you know, if, if, since he doesn't want to fight Triple G, which is the fight everybody really wants. Exactly. You know, exactly. Come on, man. And I wouldn't fight him either. Yeah. I don't want to get slept. I mean, yeah. that's what's going to happen to him. Yeah, you yeah, mess around yeah. to fight that yeah. young guy. Wasn't tri- Triple G? No, you said they were t- they were yelling Triple G. They were yelling Triple G. Yeah. Yeah, because that was the backstory. The guy, as Floyd was walking by, uh-huh. somebody said Triple G, and Floyd. You got a little nervous. I wasn't nervous at all. I, I didn't say it. But Floyd turned around and you know, you know, and he got Debo and, and Sebo right next yeah, to him. Yeah, yeah, and he yeah. Was like, Who said Triple G? And he, yeah. even the guy got silent. Like it wasn't me. So yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So yeah. yeah. And Everybody, that's the thing. I'm, I don't really follow boxing anymore. I don't know who was. Well, it's you know, again, it, it's not as prominent because you got about five different belts and five different divisions, so it's a little difficult. So. Right, right, right. Absolutely. Uh, but you know, we, but we also have. Uh, so we have Lakers news. It's still going down. I mean, the, the Lakers thing is. I don't know. It's getting kind of crazy over there. Mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm. But we're hoping that, you know, I don't know. Are you thinking they're going to be able to pull this this thing off and maybe get ball? I mean, what are you thinking, man? That's a good question because Lonzo is probably going to be a top, at least a top two pick. Yeah. Um, I don't know who's coming in, number one. It all depends on what the needs are. But but when you have a player like that that they're considering can be a generational player, even if you have – because we have a point guard. But if you can get ball. Yeah, uh, well, well, I think everybody is – is if you were to say – you get... Have you jumped off of the boat? For uh, uh, our point guard. If we're going to get ball, yes. Yes. I, I still yeah. think we need to get rid of him. I, I, well, I, diff- I, he's it's, been here, what, three years now? No, he's been what, It's two years, right? It's, it's two, it's, so it's his second year right here. He was a rookie last year. Mm-hmm. His mm-hmm. second year. You, um, you got to think. I mean, we the Lakers, we're, we're, we're very used to. And we're talking about to, D'Angelo. We're talking about D'Angelo Russell, yes. yes. And we're really used to uh, us having a, you know, somebody coming in having an immediate impact. But you got to understand, this is a very young team. There's yeah. no veteran leadership yeah. really around us yeah. outside of Ron Artest. So it's a really young and team. Swaggy. Look, <laughs> and but you know, and the Swaggy. Thing- is, let me tell you something. Swaggy and Swaggy. I don't know if it was between Brandon Ingram and Swaggy P. They had some of the tightest jeans on. <laughs> when I was in the locker room, my goodness, I, they should be embarrassed. It's their generation. But you yeah, know, anyway. the one thing about D'Angelo that's disturbing to me, uh, when you get to the league. You know, this is the one thing is I'm not a Kobe fan. I'll be the first one to admit it. Which is um, which is which is almost grounds for you to get your is, mic turned off. Which is which is good in the way it should no, be. It's not. But but the one thing you can say about Kobe, you can say about Shaq, you can say about the Jerry Rices, uh, even though I don't like Brady. The one thing that you can say is the work ethic. Guaranteed. It, it was there. Right. You know, and, and LeBron. And right. I, I tell my son now right. who's going into his he's gonna be a sophomore. Um, and his work ethic is 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 great, right? Um, because you know he follows Kevin Durant, and he and he saw it. Uh, you know, hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard. Indeed. And Russell, when I was gonna say is disappointing about him, he had a comment. He's like, "Oh, now that Magic's here, I got to work harder." It's like, well, what? Yeah, it's like, and see, and that's that's to me again. That's what Kobe was talking about when, uh-huh. when, it, when they were like, when Kobe was saying, "Hey, just ask me, and I'll come in and I'll help you guys out." Uh-huh. That's what he was talking about. Uh-huh. He, he knows already that the young guys have a problem with work ethic. Right. Right. You know, and so that's that's gonna. Be a continued problem. Uh, we we got to get ready to go. So, some big news right now is going to be going on. We have uh, t- tonight is going to be going down. Our guy Matt Mitchell, friend of the show, uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, Roosevelt is going to be playing tonight. CIS State Championship, uh, uh-huh. was a, a state championship game. The guy that dunked on Shaq's son, D- yanked on. Him. Okay, okay. Oh yeah. Okay. What, what is Mama looking? <laughs> what is Mama look? Matter of fact, I don't know if they brought the cameras out there for reality TV. Right, what right. It was Mama was looking. Right, right. So we we thank everybody for listening to uh, Esports Net connected by Boost Mobile. We'll be back next week. This is the one and only Coach V and Eternal. When it comes to Inland Empire Sports, you know the conversation starts and stops here. Live on Fox Sports, thirteen fifty. Back out, Brian. Shot clock at seven. Bryant leads, falling away, puts it in, and the Lakers take a one-point lead with 7.3 remaining. 
You're listening to IESportsNet.com, the Inland Empire Sports Authority. You are tuned into the new home for IE Sportsnet. Every Saturday morning at 8 a.m. with Coach B. Andy Turner, when it comes to Inland Empire Sports, the conversation starts and stops here. On Fox Sports Radio, 1350 a.m., IE Sports at every Saturday morning, 8 a.m.